wait, wait, wait. This is what I want to see. This is what we want to see. No, that's not good enough. I need to de-stress, and everyone's stressing me out today, including the fucking pavement that put mud on my shoe. <sighs> let's get this fucking pre-workout meal in, this pump in, and let's just go ham. The thing is, I actually really enjoy eating this food. Genuinely, I just want a lot more of it. The sauce, there's not a lot of sauce on this one, but it's actually, it tastes good. I like it. It makes me feel good. And after prep, I say this now though, because obviously I've got a goal in my head. And after prep, I feel like I'm just gonna eat a lot more food, obviously, just the same stuff. Like I just want a load of oats, a load of rice. I want, I want like a whole container of rice. I want a whole container of rice. I don't fancy shit food, and I'm gonna go ham on my off season this year. Genuinely, I'm gonna go absolutely ham. I'm gonna be in Dubai as well, so training at Binus, loads of carbohydrates, it's gonna be a good one. Hola, say hello to the YouTubes. This is my girlfriend, Ellie. <laughs> right, we have finished up the, uh, the pre-workout meal. I wasn't going to eat, but then I realized if I didn't eat, I'd only had about 600 calories in my system and that isn't enough. And today we're gonna get some savage shots. And I'm obviously very depleted right now. I'm three days out from the show. So I wanted to get some carbohydrates into me. Also got a pre-workout. Now water intake has dropped today. I think we're on, what day is it today? Is it Wednesday? Yeah, I think we're on six liters today. So I'll make sure I'm monitoring that carefully. I've had a litre already with about three cups of coffee. I bought a 1.5 litre bottle of water there. And then obviously, what's this, 500, 75 or 750 or whatever it is, of pre-workout. Pre-workout hasn't got to stop yet, but I've only got one scoop legend, one scoop gamer, two scoops pump. Um, but my coach is not too bothered about that. He just said keep everything the same so far and then just taper off the water as we go. So I'm going to sip on this and then we're going to get things rolling on the gym floor. So I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so I'm using this uh, Panatta machine here. If you guys don't know about Panatta, get to know and find a gym that has the, their equipment in it. Although I have kind of gone off the Panatta side race, but anyway, this one right here, this press is actually unbelievable. It's like an A press, and obviously it's fixed. You can't do a silly amount of weight. Well, I can't right now anyway, because I'm depleted to hell. But this is probably my favorite machine. I'm only doing about 10 to 12 reps, and we're actually not focusing too much on that eccentric phase at this point. There's no point, anything that I do now is not gonna get me leaner. Obviously the only thing that's gonna get me leaner is taking out the water and making sure my body is at rest. Today has not been a rest day whatsoever. This morning's been so fucking manic, it's been crazy. And we're now training, but we're not gonna go ham. We're not gonna be doing loads of depletion um, reps and stuff like that. We're sticking to 10 to 12. But this machine right here, one of my favorite machines. And if you're looking to make some serious gains and get in the best shape of your life, you're gonna to have to make sure you're going to a decent gym with decent equipment because you're gonna to wanna to spend time there. That's one of the biggest tips that I can give you guys if you're just starting out your fitness journey. Making sure you're going to the gym that one, you enjoy the environment and you enjoy the people that are in there. And two, it's got equipment that is actually good. So make sure when you're picking your gym, you pick wisely. And always put your weights away. Gym etiquette, people. 
Right guys, so we are moving on to a rear delt fly machine here. The last two days, I'm only training for three days and then I've got two days off. And I've done a lot of pressing movements these last couple of days. No legs have been involved for the last week. So I'm actually gonna move on to a rear delt fly now instead of doing another pressing movement. Normally, right now, I'd probably go into doing dumbbell press straight away, even though I've just done that on there. Today, we don't wanna fatigue the body too much. So I'm going into rear delt flies on this machine. And if you guys don't use this machine, again, you need to make sure you are. This is one of the best machines for those rear delt flies. Uh, we're going to show you exactly how to do it right now. So guys, as you might notice, there's two handles on this machine. There's one right down here vertical and there's one here horizontal. Now I tend to hold the horizontal ones doing it uh, for the rear delts, pushing my side of my hand into there with my thumb hooked onto the edge of the, uh, the handle. But I focus more on not gripping the handles, just literally pushing out towards the walls. And that's going to allow me to focus more on that rear delt, focusing really on that squeeze as well. You want to try and keep rigid. You also can see that I've got the bench up high enough that my chin's above the pad. And I want to put my chest into that pad with a lower arch in the bottom of the back. From here, we stay dead still. And we just literally pull our arms out towards the side. And they automatically come round because the machine's fixed. Squeeze them rear delts as hard as you can and slowly return. Don't put that weight down. There's no point stopping every time. You want to just stop about half an inch from and squeeze. Nice and slow on the way in. Quick on the way out. Squeeze at the end. I hope and I wish that you're doing okay. I want to go back to the old days. Because I miss you. And I just thought of you. Hey, do you know what? I walked out of my house today. I've got one black, one white. Yeah. Stood on a fucking drain. Oh, wait, oh, the as well. Stood on the drain, gather. Oh, fucking oh. mud. Why can't it go on that side? I just thought, I just thought, why the fuck not? Do you know what I mean? Nah, Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mama said you're meant to burn as bright as a star among the midnight sky all the pressure blinded me but now i see i'm not different from the rest you said i'd fly away
Okay, so we're moving on to some triceps now. I did do a lot of triceps on Monday, um, but to be honest with you, when I'm training shoulders, and especially when we're rear delts, I do like to incorporate quite a bit of my uh, triceps as well. Obviously they sort of intertwine, so it feels really good in the pump, and I feel twice the size. I'm walking around the gym here today, guys. People are commenting on the, uh, on the outfit vibe. What are we saying? Like, I bought these old school bodybuilding pants off Amazon, and I absolutely love them. What do you think? Comment below. I know I've got one white shoe, one black shoe this morning, but your boy was feeling fruity. You know what I mean? So that's what we've gone with. A few people have said they liked it. A few people have said they hate it. But the people that are saying they're hating it don't have any idea how to dress themselves. So who cares? Anyway, moving on to triceps. I'm doing tricep pushdowns. Again, nothing silly, no loads of reps. We were doing eight to 10 reps, quite heavy, with perfect form. Let's go. We're all searching for that open door. Show me proof that there is something more I just hope I am okay With the choices I make Maybe then I'll understand You said I'd fly away I'm joking, I love it really. So guys, I'm actually doing this slightly different to what I would normally do it. Um, I'm holding it like I would upside down and pulling it quite low to my chin that's going to incorporate a lot more sort of rhomboids rather than rear delts here if you want to do rear delts you want to make sure you're coming up nice and high with that top bit aim for that to be at your forehead if you want to do more rear delts and then some more rhomboids you're still going to incorporate more del rear delts anyway because it's obviously just squeezing the, the back together but for me i just feel that more in the rhomboids and sort of into that as well Right guys, so one of my poses is actually standing up, well, my back pose, and I'm actually pulling like this, so it's kind of like, literally like you're rowing, and that just brings out the Christmas tree. So this grip right here, this mag grip, is absolutely perfect. So I'm kind of emulating the same sort of hands here, um, and I'm just gonna, I like to sometimes do a, at least one rowing exercise during my shoulder exercise, because you are gonna incorporate quite a lot of rear delts here, and this is gonna be the last and final exercise, so we're gonna go heavy, three sets of 10, and that's it, no drop set on this one, just three sets of 10 heavy, and that is what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna move on to something else. Okay, so we have finished up the workout, and to be honest guys, it was actually a pretty good workout. We ended up doing a little bit of uh, triceps and a little bit of biceps, because once we got in the, in front of the mirror, the lighting was a joke in there, and we looked pretty good. We had obviously a pre-workout meal, so that really helped with the pump. Felt pretty good. This is my last workout of this entire prep. Uh, tomorrow, I've got 500 grams of carbohydrates, and on Friday as, as well, I've also got 500 grams at the moment. That's what we've scheduled in. Obviously, if the body changes over the next couple of, uh, couple of days before Saturday, we'll see, we might have to do something a bit different, but that's what we've got scheduled in. Obviously, water's being tapered down as well. But I just wanted to say, guys, I really appreciate the support that's been going on on the YouTube over these last um, sort of five, six weeks, whatever it's been. I've been pumping out as much videos as I possibly can. Um, I didn't 
put myself on a really ridiculously long prep for a reason. I feel like when people go, oh, I'm going to do like a you know, 21, 30 week prep, I just feel to myself that's nearly, well, it's half the year. And I don't want to be on prep or a diet plan for over half the year. I just feel like when I come off the diet, my head's going to be all over the place. I've done this quite strict, but I've I've done it in a strategic way that it didn't feel that bad to me. You know, eight weeks, one week down, you go, oh, seven weeks left, two weeks down. Oh, it's not too hard. It wasn't too difficult. I feel really good. And in actual fact, I actually feel better at this moment in time and this whole week. Like, I think it's because of the excitement of peak week. Um, you know it's near the end as well. I really do feel great. I feel fantastic. And in the, in these last two sessions have been my best two sessions on prep. And that's because I've allowed the body to rest. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support that you guys have shown me over this sort of prep series that I've been doing. I really want to push YouTube this year and next year. Like, I just love picking up the camera and giving you guys a bit of an insight to what my life is like, what I do in a day, my full days of eating. But I want you guys to make sure you are commenting on my videos. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll try and bring as much content to you as possible that you want to actually see like is it meal preps you want to see is it my training you want to see like what is it that you actually want to see and me and Josh will get to work and make sure we get the content to you guys because I really enjoy YouTube it's my least followed platform but it's my favorite platform out of every single platform out there so guys once again thank you so much for your support it does mean the absolute world and as always make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and I shall see you guys in the next one, which is going to be show day. Let's get it.